Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk a little professional baseball. Joining us right now, Tunkhannock grad, Lackawanna College, University of Pittsburgh. Rich Cundelis is joining us right now. Well, Rich, uh, Minnesota Twins organization draft you. And, uh, hey, you're playing some ball now in Florida. Tell us about it. Oh, it's great. I mean, I got down here last week, and it's been a lot of uh, hurry up and wait. I, um, I got the flight down, and as soon as I got here, um, you know, they run you through all the tests that you can imagine, you know, blood tests, uh, physicals, everything, just to make sure everything clears. And then um, I finally just got signed, so I'm, I'm hitting the ground running here um, tomorrow, so I'm really excited about it. Well, talk a little bit about this this experience as you go through it. Uh, you know, uh, you never know what's going to happen in the draft, and uh, of course, you never know when your last game's going to be, uh, your last day at your job's going to be, your last day at school, things like that. But uh, tell us a little bit about the process. Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's such an unpredictable thing. I mean, going into it as um, as a hitter, um, you know, more focused on hitting. Um, and then really just starting to pitch this spring, it was a transition um, year for me all around. Um, you know, it, it was definitely, you know, big changes, you know, with just going to the mound and then coming into, you know, the end of the year, um, you know, putting up some good numbers, getting some notice from, uh, you know, the professional ranks, um, you know, and then having to deal with, you know, what round do you think you're going to go into, you know, doing a couple pre-draft workouts for a couple teams and hearing some, some rumblings about, you know, you know, 10th round, 15th round, um, 20th round. And then to, to have to wait, you know, as long as I did, it was definitely a stressful day. But, I mean, in the end, I think, you know, it's, it's what you play the game for. It's, it's what, you know, the ultimate goal is for anybody that has stepped on the field. So I guess I can't complain too much, but it definitely is quite the process. You know, there's a lot of uh, working behind the scenes that goes on. Rich, talk about that adjustment from uh, you know a guy looked at in a different position to now here you are on the mound. Uh, tell us about uh, your your pitching background. Yeah, well, I mean, at Lackawanna, I was more so first baseman. Um, I actually went to the Minnesota Twins pre-draft workout last year as a first baseman, and then I went back again this year as a as a relief pitcher. So it was quite the transition, you know what I mean? Um, you know. Now pitching, it's it's a totally different mindset. You know, you you have to really build a routine, and especially being a relief pitcher, you have to have, you know, a, a set routine that you can go to because you really don't know when you're going to be called upon um, to go in and throw. So it's definitely a different mindset, and you know, it took a lot of adjusting. I, I've thrown a little bit in the past, not not as much as hitting, so I wasn't as comfortable with it. But um, I, I definitely caught on really quickly, and and after that, I think. Um, you know, I've made some really good progress really quick, and I think that's what's gotten me here now, you know. Well, talk about a fresh arm. I mean, I'm sure the, the organization's happy uh, that, you know, your arm's probably pretty fresh uh, just kind of getting back on that mound recently. Uh, tell us about some of the, the little adjustments you're seeing so far early on with, uh, you know, uh, guys using wooden bats and, and different things like that and uh, getting to know some of the guys on your team. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot different um, – than college, you know, it's a totally different game. Um, you know, it might be a little bit more laid back, you know, off the field and, you know, maybe in the dugout, but on the field, I mean, you know, the talent is unbelievable. Um, you know, you're facing guys that are going to have long careers in, in baseball, you know what I mean, every single day. So it's exciting, you know, and, um, you know, surrounded by guys from all over the place. You know, we have a couple guys in the organization um, I know one's from the Netherlands, you know, a couple guys from Australia, a guy from South Africa, you know, a lot of guys from Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic. So it's really awesome to be cultured and, and to be around those guys every single day um, because you can learn a lot, you know what I mean? I think that's the biggest thing that I've seen so far. I've only really been able to watch so far. So I've been watching, you know, there's there's a lot of rehab guys that are here for extended spring training. So kind of picking their brains and watching what they do. You know, a lot of the guys have been, have been to the big leagues already. So it's it's a learning curve for everybody, no matter whether you're 17, you're fresh out of high school, or, you know, you're a junior or senior in college. You know, I think everybody has something to learn here. Rich Condilis joining us here on the John Madola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Uh, Rich, uh, playing baseball is something you love. And, of course, you guys at Tunkhannock uh, had some nice years. There's some guys that are still playing the game, Mike Pappy and so forth. Uh, 
Tell us about uh, the future for your baseball. I mean, you're just going to go as long as you could, and, and hopefully it takes you somewhere far. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, being a pitcher, not really doing it so much. Um, you know, I've been told that you know I have a lot of upside, and and there's really no telling where it could take me. So I'm just, I mean, I'm going to do everything in my power to stay in the game as uh, as long as I can. And I mean, at the end of the day, I guess it's not uh, not a bad thing to have somebody tell you that it's uh, it's over than to have to walk away on your own. So I, I definitely lived out my dream to to at least get to play professionally, but. Um, no, my goal is definitely to make it to the show. Oh, Rich, how about your family and friends that have been along the journey for the way and some coaches along the way that have helped you out? Oh, I mean, I, I can't say enough about, you know, my family, my support group, and, you know, just hearing from all the coaches, you know, I'm talking literally, um, you know, junior college, high school, legion ball, summer ball. I mean, there's just so many people that have uh, – have really helped me along the way, and you know everybody really owns a piece of it. And I can't, you know, I can't thank my family enough. You know, I think I have some of the greatest support group. Um, it, it definitely wasn't, you know, the blue chip, uh, silver spoon way to to get into pro ball. So um, I definitely had to take my lumps. But I mean, I I don't think without a without a good support group or the people that I had surrounded by me, I don't know if it would have been the same outcome. Well, Rich Candelas uh, living the dream right now. Professional baseball player. Uh, playing in Florida, he's a relief pitcher. Rich, we wish you well along the way, and hopefully we could talk to you again maybe towards the end of the summer. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Rich Candelas here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.